Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. Uh, this is an interesting set, uh, uh, which you can call it like sort of uh, syllogism kind, wherein you have to uh, use conditions and answer the questions. So it says the country of migraine contains four areas of radar detection R, S, T, and U. Each detection area is circular and falls completely within migraine. Okay. Part of R intersects with T. Part of S also intersects uh, with T. R does not intersect S. Okay, so uh, R and S intersect with T. Okay, so that means T must be somewhere in the center. Okay, and this must be R. This must be S. So both of these intersect with T. Part of R intersects T, part of S intersects T, R does not intersect S, right? So these are separate. U is completely within R and also completely within T. That means this is U. So these are the four regions of radar detection. Now it says there are four planes J, K, L, M. These are over migraine such that each plane is in at least one of the four areas. So these four planes have to be in this region such that every plane is uh, within some radar area. Okay. It is given that J is in area S. Now area S means that it can come here also. It can come here also. Right. So J is inside S. Then K is not in any detection area that J is in. So that means uh, K cannot be in this area. Okay. So if J is here. Now J can be here also, right? J is in S means J can be here also. So if uh, J uh, if J is in this portion, then K can be here, okay? But if J is in this area, now J if it is in this area because they have said S, right? Now that can be T also. I mean overlap of S and T also. If J is here, so then in that case K cannot be inside T. So K has to be inside R. Okay, the next condition says L is not in any detection area that M is in. So similarly, let us say M is in T, right? So uh, L cannot be completely inside T. It has to be either only at R or only at S. Okay, so it has to be in a different region. M is in exactly one of the areas. So M has to be in only one area. It can be R, it can be T, it can be S, it cannot be U. Okay, that those are the conditions that you need to keep in mind, right? So uh, the first question says, if K is within exactly two of the four areas, then which of the following cannot be true? Now K is in exactly two areas. How can K be in two areas? Let us see. If we put K, what are the overlapping areas, right? So we cannot have K inside U. We cannot have K inside U because if you put K here, it will be one, two, three areas. Okay. So it cannot be inside U. So there are R, S, T and U. Now we are left with R, S and T. Okay. Now if it is within two areas, it cannot be R and S. R, S is not possible. Because R and S do not overlap. Okay. It is also already given R does not intersect with S. ST, is it possible to have K here? J is in area S and K is not in any detection area that J is in. So J is definitely here, right? So K cannot be in S for sure. Okay. So K is in R and T. So that means K is detection in this area. Okay. That is given to us. Now we have to uh, say that we have to tell which of the following cannot be true. So J is in within area T. Okay, so uh, J cannot be in area T because K and J cannot be in the same area. So if J is also in T and K is also in T, that is not possible. Okay, others must be possible. K is within area R. So yes, we know that K is within R. Okay, M is in within area T. M can be within T. Okay, M is in exactly one of the areas, right? We can have M here. 
okay l is in within area r yes we can have a possibility like this that l m is here and then we can have uh, j here right so j is not coming inside t because uh, j and k cannot be in the same radar area we can have this as a possibility hence option a is false okay next question is which of the following statements cannot be true about the planes the so first statement is saying that m is within area r it can m be here let us see if m can be present here so j is within s okay we can have uh, l should not intersect intersect with j okay so uh, k should not intersect with j so we can put k here okay because k and m we can have intersection there is no relation that k and m cannot be together l is not in detection area of m so l can be here so that is possible okay it is saying which of the following cannot be true k is within area u can we have k within area u so we can have k in multiple areas right what is stopping us from that m is within area u now that is uh, clearly uh, the answer because it says m is present in only is exactly in one of the areas so m if it is within u m will come inside r also m will come inside t also so that is not possible okay l within area r is possible we can have l here we can have m here that is perfectly fine okay now uh, we have the next question if m is within area t which of the following cannot be true so f m is within uh, area t so if m is within area t m is in exactly one of the areas right so m will come here right not this portion or this portion now m is here then uh, first statement is j is within area t can j be within area t uh, we can have j here okay j has to be within s so it can be in within t also we can have uh, we may have uh, uh, this uh, k here we can have l also see k and l there is no relation that they cannot be together right so we have this as a possibility now second is l is within area r okay so l is in within area that is also possible we saw in this case a is within exactly two areas yes we can have k if we put k here k can be within two areas also that is also possible right satisfying all condition that j is within s m is only one area m is not with l all things are being satisfied and fourth is l is within exactly two areas okay now how can l be within two areas see there are only one place where we have two areas overlapping right that is this r and t see, if the u is there that means that there are three areas okay so rs is not overlapping we can have st so we have two possibilities right l two areas could be st or rt there are two possibilities of two areas where, where they are overlapping but m is already in t so l cannot be in any of these possibilities so l cannot be in exactly two areas it can be in three uh, it can be in only in one area okay next question if plane l is within exactly three of the areas which of the following could be true okay so simple one it says that l is within three of the areas so three areas is possible only inside if it is inside u right so l is present here now if l is present here one thing that we get that m cannot be r so exactly three areas is r u and t okay so m cannot come in r u and t so m will be only inside s that will not be in any of these areas okay now uh, let us look at the option this is saying which of the following could be true so that means other should be false j is in uh, exactly three areas so if you put j here right so l is already here if you put j also here that is not possible because j has to come in s right j is in area s it can come in t also but minimum it has to be in s now that is not possible j is in with the j is within exactly two areas uh, j one area s is fixed if you put j here that is possible right so l is present here okay we can have j here we can have 
k here that is a possibility so that should be the answer let us check the other options also k is within area s see j is already in s so k can never be in s m is in within area r again false because uh, L is present in three of the areas, right? So L is present in R U T. So M has to be present outside uh, outside R U N T. So M has to be in S. So that is not possible. So this is the only possibility that J is in exactly two of the areas. So this is the solution uh, to the set and answers to the questions.